So one of the biggest reasons that church musicians quit is because they don't feel appreciated. And when you don't feel appreciated, you're more likely to make less money, you won't grow as a musician, and you might even get fired. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to make sure you're being appreciated by your church and show you how doing two simple things will make them 10 times more likely to appreciate you. So there's a huge exodus happening right now with musicians leaving and no longer wanting to play at churches anymore. And the reason is because they're being treated like trash at a lot of these churches and they've come to realize that they get treated better playing at secular places like clubs and bars and all of that. And it can all be traced back to one simple thing. And that is, church musicians don't feel valued or appreciated. And this is something that's contributing to this complete breakdown of church music as we know it. And it's exactly why you see a lot of stagnant music departments at churches. So what can musicians do to avoid being victims of this sort of vicious cycle and ultimately feel appreciated at their churches? Well, there's a couple things you can do, but before I tell you that, let me break down why it's so crucial that you as a church musician be and feel appreciated in your church, especially in this new era that we're in. Now, this is something that's like super secret because nobody ever talks about. But let me ask you a question. Have you ever lost someone that you care about? Well, I lost not one, but two of my praise team members at my current church one of which was just a few months ago. And after spending so much time with them, it's a huge internal struggle to have to show up and, you know, watch their spots that they were normally in be empty and know that they're not there and never coming back. And there's so many of these types of internal struggles that church musicians deal with on a regular basis but it's not something that the church people care to talk about much. Despite all the talk and rhetoric about caring and loving people and all of that, when we get called into the office, it's never about them just saying, hey, just wanted to check on you, see how you were doing, tell you I really appreciate you and you're doing a great job. It's almost always about some issue that's pertaining to us or about asking us to do something more than we're already doing. But these emotional struggles that church musicians deal with are much more difficult than you may know. And it's one of the biggest reasons why church musicians need to be appreciated. Now also, there's a lot of time, energy, and effort that a lot of people don't know about that goes into helping people come to church feel comfortable and have an enjoyable experience. From the planning and preparation to the actual presentation of what you experience in church, it all involves the musicians in some way. And it's not just the music, it's the sound, it's the lighting and visuals, it's the tech, it's the meetings even, and it's even the sermon. And yet the moment that something goes wrong or something is off, everybody is looking at us like we're crazy. And not to mention, at least half of them feel like we shouldn't even be paid for what we do as musicians. So what deserves at least some thanks and appreciation is the fact that musicians work tirelessly behind the scenes to help make their church run. Now, there's one more important reason I really want to share with you. But right before we get to that, if you're getting value out of this video so far, do me a quick favor and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really helps out with everything we're trying to do here on the channel and I would really appreciate it. Now, you know that saying that says, when life gives you lemons, you have to make lemonade? Well, imagine that you're given a laptop with a cracked screen, a keyboard on it that the keys stick on or are broken or don't work, with a mouse or a trackpad that gets stuck, and you're told that you need to make a very high quality presentation for this upcoming company meeting that is like next week. You would think that they're crazy, right? Well, in many, if not most cases, Church musicians are given faulty, outdated equipment. We have to deal with singers who have zero talent, skill, or ability, or even a desire to have that talent, skill, or ability. We aren't given a financial budget of any sort to you know, make any upgrades. And we're given these lemons, and we're expected to make the best tasting, 
most mouth-watering lemonade known to man. And we're judged, hired, and fired, and the amount on our paychecks are all based on our ability to be able to do just that. So because we as church musicians have to have this incredible level of resilience to make greatness out of a lot of these scraps that many of these churches present to us and give to us, we can at least be made to feel appreciated for what we do. Now, that said, there are a couple of things that you can do as a church musician to almost guarantee you're being appreciated. So one of the biggest ways that a lot of corporate companies appreciate and show gratitude to their employees is they have what's called the employee of the month or year or week program, right? But you ever wonder how some of these employees get the title of employee of the year, particularly the ones that get it repeated? Well, there's one thing that these employees and workers do to gain that sort of appreciation and gratitude. And it's something that you absolutely need to do as a church musician. When they get hired, they're given their list of job responsibilities and they're expected to do that. But why they get awarded that recognition of employee of the year is that they take those responsibilities and they expand on them to bring as much value to that job as possible. And while it's true that you should be appreciated at minimum for the things that I mentioned earlier, one of the ways to almost guarantee that people will appreciate you is when you take your responsibilities there and you expand upon them because it's the extra mile that gets appreciated. Now, there's another saying that says success is about who you know. And that's because when you know people, particularly when you have good relationships with them, they support you. People want to see those that they care about and like succeed but you can't get that sort of genuine appreciation unless you have genuine relationships with the people around you and they like you and there's a really powerful way that you can not only have these sort of genuine relationships with people and they like you but you also develop and foster a sort of supportive atmosphere of positivity and appreciation and the key is you need to flip the script Instead of waiting on others to appreciate you, you cultivate an environment and atmosphere of appreciation by appreciating them first. It's a win-win situation that almost guarantees that you will be appreciated for the musician you are for whatever church situation you're in. And these ways will work for sure, but there's something that you can do for yourself that almost eliminates this problem altogether. And I talk about it in this video right here. So head over and check it out now so you can learn to never deal with this issue again.